Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman. This is Daily Shorts. SpaceX Dragon 2 go boom. Not good. As you can see there, that was clearly an anomaly, as SpaceX and NASA like to use the words for. It was an explosion, something went badly wrong. That was actually during a statics fire test. Now this is the Dragon 2 spacecraft, which is the crewed variant of a Dragon 2. Now this particular capsule was actually fully launch tested on March the 2nd of uh, uh, last year, sorry, this year. And it was launched on board the Falcon 9 Block 5 variant and its mission was to dock with the ISS, uh, perform a number of tests, undock, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and splash tan. And that's exactly what, they, what it did and exactly what, uh, what happened. And it was perfectly normal, everything seemed to go perfectly well. So what NASA, the, and sorry, beg your pardon, what SpaceX decided to do was to use this particular spacecraft as static fire tests, as we see here, to test the Draco engines. Now the Draco engines were originally designed for powered landing, but SpaceX and NASA agreed that they wouldn't do that, and they just use it as a parachute landing, um, as we've always seen with, um, with crewed spacecraft. So during this test, clearly there was an explosion. Now we still don't know exactly what happened or why it happened. Now Scott Manley on his channel um, has seemed to think or has commented that he seemed to think it has something to do with the pressured um, fuel tanks on board. Um, but that's not being confirmed by anybody. SpaceX and NASA have um, sent out messages um, as a press release saying, and they pretty much a standard press release, saying that there has been an anomaly and they were working together to try and figure out what it is. Now, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, is normally quite open about these, these things and quite often tweets um, things that have actually happened, but he's been very, very quiet on this subject so far, um, which is a little bit unusual, so I guess they're still working on it. Now, um, a lot of fans of SpaceX and NASA and what have you um, are going into a bit of a tailspin about this, but the way I see it is that, look, this is a, drew, a crewed variant of the Dragon 2. They were going to be having, hopefully having crewed um, uh, launch uh, later this year. Now that could possibly be delayed. And that's fine for me. If it's delayed, it's delayed. What would be much, much worse if we had an explosion aboard Dragon 2 with a crew on board? Clearly that would be very bad for SpaceX, very bad for NASA, and very bad for everybody, really. Nobody wants to see crew die because of an explosion. These, this is what these tests are for. These tests to actually see what happens, and if anything bad happens, then they need to solve the issue. And this is what they're exactly what they're going to be doing here. So again, we still don't know what the, what the problem was. The worst that's going to happen is that the um, originally planned launch of the crew aboard the Dragon 2 later this year could very well be delayed until next year. But again, until we know more, um, hopefully we'll know in the next few days or weeks that will be coming, um, and we'll find out soon enough. But for me, this is normal. This is what uh, space exploration is about, and this is rocket science. These things happen. So that's my two pennies worth for whatever it's worth. So that only leaves me to say, if you like the video, please like below. And if you like my content, please subscribe. If you subscribe, I can promise you the content and the quality is going to get much, much better. Um, and this is what's going to keep coming. So I need to leave me one more to say. Science is truth.